Hey everybody, uh, my name is Megan Severson and I work with the organization Environment America. Uh, we work to protect our air, our water, and the special places that we love, like parks and forests. Um, I live in Wisconsin and today I am so happy to talk with you and to share with you why I love Earth Day so much and share with you some ideas for ways you can celebrate Earth Day, even from your own home and in your virtual classroom. After this video, you can check out a list of ideas of environmental activities that you can do. Um, we call it our Nifty 50 list. For me, Earth Day is really a special time because uh, we can stop and think about all the amazing and beautiful things about this planet. Um, the animals, the parks that we can go to, uh, the waters that we can swim in, um, and then we can also learn about ways to protect it. So Earth Day is on April 22nd, Wednesday this year, and it's a really special day. Um, it's also one of my favorite holidays. The first Earth Day was 50 years ago in 1970, and it's considered to be the birth of the environmental movement. So before 1970, the health of the environment was really not something that a lot of people thought about, not like it is now. Um, big industries were putting chemicals and smoke into our air and water, which hurt the environment and the people living around that pollution. In 1962, a woman named Rachel Carson, an ecologist from Pennsylvania, published a really important book called Silent Spring. Uh, this really helped to raise public awareness about environmental concerns and how the things that we do as humans uh, have an impact on the natural world all around us. So in 1969, there unfortunately was a big oil spill in the ocean off of the coast of California. In response to this, people, including a lot of kids and young people, organized a national demonstration against pollution and its damage to our environment. Uh, and that protest was held on April 22nd, 1970, the first Earth Day. Over 20 million Americans joined that demonstration in support of a healthier environment and better treatment of our planet. And it worked. Because people continued to make their voices heard, we now have cleaner air, we have cleaner water, and a healthier environment. Uh, but we still have a lot of work to do and need to make more progress. So we, there are a lot of ways that you can help make a healthier planet. In honor of Earth Day's 50th birthday, we put together a list of 50 environmental activities that you can do in your own home. One of my favorite activities is learning about the plants that grow in our very own backyards and neighborhoods, and then taking some of those materials in and turning them into a picture of yourself. We call this a nature self-portrait. So now I'm gonna give you some instructions for how to make your very own nature self-portrait. So here are the steps you should follow. Um, it's really simple. The first is go around your house or outside your house and look for things in nature. Sticks, leaves, rocks, flowers, feathers, uh, anything that you would like to use to make your picture. You want to gather it up in a bag or a bucket. Uh, the next is to take a piece of paper, it can be any color, and grab some glue or tape. Uh, and then next you want to arrange the items around the paper and make it look like your face. <laughs> um, and try your best to make it, you know, all fit on the paper. Um, and then you want to take some glue or some tape and uh, try to get the items to stick to the paper. Don't worry if they don't all stick. Sometimes leaves are kind of wet and they don't stick or um, rocks don't really like to stick to paper, uh, but try your best. Um, and then let it dry. And then when you're all done, you can take a picture of it if you like and share it with your classroom, 
You can share it with your friends. Um, you can also have a parent share your picture with us if you go to the link at the bottom of this page. So I really hope you like this project. I hope your self-portraits turn out great. And while you're doing it, you can think about a few questions around Earth Day. Um, one is, it's good to just learn what are the plants that grow in my backyard or in my neighborhood. Um, you can also talk about what are some of the animals that live around your house and neighborhood. Around my house, we have bunnies, we have robins and other birds that are migrating back to Wisconsin. And we have a lot of earthworms, or worms that dig around in the dirt. And then another question you can talk about and talk about is what are some of the ways that we can help take care of the earth? So discuss those with your class, discuss them in your home, and for more ideas, you can check out Environment America's Nifty 50 page. Uh, and of course, you can share your, your pictures or your comments and ideas in the link below. Thanks so much. Have a great Earth Day and uh, have a great day. Bye.